Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. There are some things in life we're able to plan for. What we do after college, where we love to live our vacation, and even when we should go to the grocery store next. I love planning what my day looks like, and sometimes that even includes planning when I get to crochet on my couch. What throws me completely off is the unexpected plans. You could almost call me Bilbo Baggins. Today's saint could only plan so much before God threw him on one crazy adventure after another. Anthony grew up in the third century, losing his parents by the age of 20. He saw to it that his sister would finish her education and then sold everything they owned. Hearing a call from the Lord, he gave all of his money to the poor and left his life to live in isolation as an anchorite. All Anthony wanted was to live his life in prayer and penance and was able to peacefully do so for the next 20 years. Then, word got around about his holy lifestyle that people flocked to his abandoned sepulchre. People broke through his barricade and constantly disrupted the perfect routine, only to beg for spiritual counseling and works of healing. Eventually, Anthony recognized that these people weren't going away. So he taught many disciples how to live a life based on the Gospels and established monasteries around the Nile, Pisper, and Arisnone. He became the patron saint of the basket weavers and brush makers, seeing those were the trades that people in the monasteries took up to support themselves. For a brief time, the hermit left his monastery and found his way back to his sister. In his absence, she had also started her own community of nuns who were living in isolation and prayer and penance. He also befriended St. Paul the Hermit, who he then buried and earned another title, the patron saint of grave diggers. In the end, Anthony retired to the deserts and resided in a cave until his death in the year 356. Although his life probably didn't turn out as he had planned, God used him to spark a desire for a new lifestyle that was radically different than the typical life of anyone at the time. He denied earthly pleasures to have more time with his relationship with God. Now, I'm not suggesting that everyone run off and abandon the world to live in total isolation, but maybe God is calling you to step back from what you thought you wanted and into something better than you could have ever imagined. Maybe He's calling you into a homestead lifestyle when life's becoming too overwhelming. Maybe He's inviting you to step into a leadership role for something you thought someone would be better fit to do. The hardest thing for most of us is to be okay with the plans we don't actually plan and to see how God is working through those quote unquote little surprises. It's okay if our lives don't look exactly as we thought they would by now. The bigger picture is to be able to remind yourself how God is working through those unexpected moments. Let us all look to St. Anthony as a model of humble surrender to let God into those unexpected twists and turns in our daily lives. St. Anthony the Abbot, pray for us. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.